Hey guys, I'm back here again. Got another quick video here for you guys today. We had a uh, customer here. Uh, we went over and picked up his uh, tractor here. This is a uh, older generation Poland tractor here, specifically for that. And this one's actually made by a um, a, a, a defunct company right now. It's called um, where is it? Where's the name at on here? Let me show you the name on here. I keep on uh, forgetting the name. Oh, here we go. Frigidaire. Sorry about that. This one is uh, produced by Frigidaire, even though it has the Poland uh, badge on right here. And uh, here's the information tag right here for that. Made in the United States. Uh, produced by Frigidaire Home Products. As far as I know, Frigidaire is uh, defunct and they're no longer an actual uh, viable brand. So there's a model number 27045 and manufacturer identification number 27045 1. Good old uh, Frigidaire, and it has a Poland uh, badge information on here, as you see right here. Poland, and we'll show you our site over here as well, too. This one has a good old five speed transmission on here, 38 inch cutting path, as well, too, and a 13.5 horsepower IC Brigham Stratton flathead engine on this one right here, as well, too. Now, the reason why the customer brought it, or uh, customer had us pick it up at their house was because uh, they were having problems with the machine uh, starting. Uh, the one problem was uh, the machine wasn't starting too good out there and also the uh, the deck. Uh, the customer only wanted one thing done on the machine right now because they claimed the uh, the customer, they claimed their friend was going to uh, supposedly fix the carb on here for that because they didn't want to spend us to have the uh, carb, uh, you know, clean that rebuilt and put back on the machine. Plus, it also needs a new fuel line on here as well too. So, uh, the person never had any actual work done to this machine in quite some time. It looks like they still have the original fuel line on the front portion right here because it's all screwed up and all cracked. This is what happens after at least 10 years of uh, usage. After your fuel line gets all cracked as it is right here for that, and it even looks like they still have the original filter on here possibly. So the fuel lines to totally disintegrate on here. The air filter is uh, quite bad. It's basically falling apart. It's still the OEM original air filter on here as well too. And this one has the uh, good old IC uh, Brigham Stratton engine on here. This is a 13.5 uh, horsepower one. This is their IC quiet industrial commercial engine specifically for that. Get this information, get this stuff out of the way here. Okay, we'll show the identification tag here. Here's your tag right. Let me zoom in here. There you go. 28R707 114 1140-E3 and 00 for the date code. So this machine is about 20 years old basically. The good thing about these machines, I always like them because uh, they typically have the information tag for basic parts and stuff like that right on your inside of the actual cover here for your hood on here for that. So if you have a Sears or some kind of Sears-like uh, product out that's made by Poland or you know some other uh, subsidiary out there for that, they typically have the information tag right on the inside uh, right-handed cover for your basic um, you know information on the machine plus. Uh, some of the basic uh, parts you might need in the course of uh, you know maintaining your machine. So always look on the inside here. You have a right uh, on the right hand side. You will have a, a tag. Right, um, it'll be a re rectangular shaped tag. You'll have your uh, blades, uh, belts, air filter, you know spark plug, fuel filter. They didn't have the uh, oil capacity on here right here as well too, which is uh, 48 ounces for the capacity of the engine right there as well too. So that's your good old stuff right there. Uh, the other problem he was having over here, um, uh, what was going on was he was claiming it was eating belts over here for that. That's his words, not mine. Uh, the 38 inch deck, we did take it off the machine here. And he was uh, having problems with a belt over here as well too. And we were asking him what kind of belts was he putting on the machine. And he was claiming that uh, his uh, brother was supposedly uh, putting the new belts on there. And we asked him, point blank, are you using OEM belts on there or like some kind of knockoff belts? And he was uh, claiming that uh, they were not OEM belts here specifically for that. And there may be a problem with the actual length because it looks like to us over here the belts are uh, getting shredded on here. And what we found over here was uh, the belt was actually catching on the back portion on here. That's, that's why it was getting shredded. The guy did not put the belt on the machine correctly. And because of that, it was eating belts like crazy out there for that. That's why it's 
uh, totally uh, worn as you see right here. It will just like basically what was happening was a guy was starting the machine up, uh, you know, running for a few minutes and it started tearing up the entire belt that you see right here for that because he had the belt in the back of this um, piece on here. See how uh, it was rubbing on the back here like so. And what happens is it just, it just like digs in on the inner core of the uh, belt right here. And it just like starts digging in all along this whole entire side right here. So you have to put these things in these grooves on here. And you got to put them on the other side here as well too. And that's how it's supposed to go just like that. They even have the um, belt diagram on most of these decks out there so you can you know you know differentiate how to put the you know the belt on there correctly and that's how it is on here this one specifically as well too you have the diagram clearly marked with your engine bto up front and your pulleys your other pulleys plus your spindles on here as well too so that's how it should go on a machine as it is right now put that back up on there just like so you gotta go straight across you gotta go straight through the uh, one groove we have right here goes up to the other groove over here as well too and goes wrapped around and it goes around the front poise right here as well too always got to make sure the uh, camming arm here is working fine too because this thing doesn't want to engage and disengage properly your belt might be sticking in forward or the backward position on there as well too so uh, we, we uh, went ahead and ordered a new belt from um, Sears because we have a Sears account so we'll go ahead and uh, put the belt on there at a later date plus the other problem was uh, he was hitting something in his, in his yard out here for that as well too. Um, let me get some of the old, the old blades that were here. <clears throat> Here's the old blades we took off the machine. They're basically the, the uh, original blades on here. And the one blade, you can see he definitely hit something in his yard out here as well too. It's totally cracked right there. This is the original blade apparently from the, uh, the customer telling me. Uh, you see right here, they started developing cracks over time. You have this uh, split, it's like a split line right here. Let me see if you can get a better shot here for that. They start getting a split right up here. So anytime you have an older machine out there and you haven't replaced a blade in quite some time out there, they develop uh, stress uh, and splits in them right there. You can see it right here. This one's almost split right through here. That's what it looks like. The one side only has it on the one side, but it's definitely there. You got a big split right there. The other side doesn't really have anything over there, but the uh, other portion right here, it's totally split right through it right there for that. So that's what your blades look like after never changing them in 20 years. The other blade over here doesn't look uh, too bad. Uh, it's starting to develop a little crack along here, but it's not uh, barely, uh, barely noticeable. Same over here on the other side. You, you can just barely see an outline. I like took a, a split one to start right there for that. Uh, the back side looks okay. But uh, these are the original OEM blades right there for that. They, they have never been changed on, on the job here. So that's what happens after uh, 20 years of um, no maintenance on your on your deck. Your blades will split and that, that will cause a problem where you're out there trying to cut grass and you might start, start having a problem with it. It's, it's like digging into the ground and um, you have to replace these blades out there so that's what it is that's off the uh, 38 inch uh, tractor deck right here for that you got this size right over here in the left or i mean right hand side 38 so it's a relatively simple deck out there for that it's not like complicated or anything else like that it's just uh, uh you just gotta uh, put the right uh correct oem belt on, on the deck and you have to make sure the belt has to go through the certain grooves on here and apparently the guy didn't uh, follow the uh, advice online because I always tell people you know, go online uh, look up your machine online out there for that to make sure you have the belts in a crop you know the proper position on your because if you don't have them and and the belts and like say it's on the back side like it is right here and you put it on the back side and have it um, you know snaked around there and you engage the actual blade up there it's going to uh, cause a significant amount of damage done to the, the belt on here for that. And um, this belt, I only know it's an OEM belt because it's all screwed up as it is. And he wore off the um, uh, part number on the actual belt. So we have no way of verifying if that's the correct OEM belt for the job. Because he gave me a couple other belts over here hoping that we can stick them on his job. And I have never heard of this brand here. It's um, 810 right here. It says original quality. 
uh, V belt, and uh, he could not uh, tell me where he got them from, because his brother got them for him out there for him. We, we, we told the guy point blank, in order for us to warranty any kind of repairs on a job, you have to put OEM uh, branded parts on them because they're the original ma equipment manufacturer, and you cannot put any kind of uh, you know junk Chinese belts on a job out here for for uh, for warranty and liability reasons primarily. So we can tell you we put genuine parts on a job, and it's not going to have any kind of problems because of that one fact for a warranty standpoint. So you always have to verify the belt has to go in the correct position. Not if you don't, it's going to have problems with it's all cut up right here. So if you if you have somebody in your family do any kind of work on your machine, always verify after they were doing the work to verify the belt was on correctly. This one was not, and as you've seen, the belt is damaged beyond repair. And what happened was it was grinding against the back of these uh, lift arms on here as well too, guys. So always verify the job after you're completed before you start the machine up because you don't want to start the job up and you just immediately ruin the belt right there for that and you have to take the thing back off and you have to buy another belt out there for that and you got to spend another you know 30 40 50 bucks on a belt and you got to spend another half an hour 40 minutes taking apart the then the belt and you know to take it taking the deck off and stuff like that so always verify the proper location for your belt before you start the machine up to make sure it's going to be functionally okay that's why they have these notches right here the pathway of the belt to go through so you got one on the right hand side and you get the second one over here on the left hand side you, you got to put them in those little notched grooves right there and it'll work perfectly fine once you do that uh, specific job here for that the deck on the bottom we did clean the deck up over here so i'll go ahead and flip, flip the deck up here <clears throat> This deck was all caked up underneath here pretty bad, so we got the deck all cleaned up underneath here. It looks like he might have hit a couple things in his yard out there for that, but uh, it looks like it's relatively okay. He got, he got a couple little little dings right there. He got a bigger, uh, bigger, uh, you know, knocked in right there. But other than that, the deck looks uh, relatively good on here for that. Doesn't have any kind of major defects or uh, major rust, but uh, it was basically packed with uh, grass underneath here as well too so that's everything about that one specific deck right there and the machine uh, we'll do a follow-up video here probably in about another week's time from today uh, today's friday uh morning and we'll do a follow-up um you know function test video and we'll do a uh, you know a revised uh you know uh, video to make sure the deck's functional and everything else on the machine's okay because he, he was his main complaint was um the actual deck wasn't engaging correctly. He didn't say anything about his, about his engine on there at all, even though uh, we found out the engine was um, surging out there and it would not idle at all correctly out there when it's on low idle speed as well too. Because unfortunately, we get a lot of people over here uh, they'll tell us one thing and they have more than one problem on a machine It's basically they're withholding information or they're playing outright lying to you. So you always have to ask them point blank, is there anything else wrong with your machine that I need to be aware of? Because we must need to know everything that's going on in the machine. And you have to, you know, tell people that one or two times. And they have to be totally honest and truthful about their machine or to, uh, you know, repair it correctly. Because you don't want to do some kind of a half, you know, half ASS job on a, on a machine and have the customer call you up a month later saying, Oh, I, I want this other stuff done on here and you only fixed one thing. But the problem was the customer was not totally honest about the job. So that's why it's always a good idea to ask them multiple times if there's anything else currently wrong with the machine. So there's a front shot of the machine as well too. Has the old style uh, hood and the other uh, plastic uh, you know, guards for your uh, front lights on there as well too. So that's what it looks like on the side and the front. And there's the other side as well too again. Good old Poland. 13.5 horsepower Brigham Stratton power machine. Got a 5 speed transmission on here as well too. 38 inch cut and it's made by Frigidaire. I, I totally forgot who made it here because Poland makes most of the stuff out there for that before they got bought up. And uh, I'll show you this shot here. The, the, the um, tag here is well for, uh, well for proof. The old Frigidaire. There you go. Even has the uh, you know service call, phone number to call right there for that. Frigidaire Home Products. Made in the United States. So that's everything about the job here. Like I said before, we'll do a quick uh, video after we have the parts installed on a job to verify the functionality of the machine. And if anybody has any comments, questions, whatnot, uh, feel free to uh, drop me a message here. If I didn't uh, you know, provide any kind of uh, details you might want to uh, have elaborated, uh, just drop me a message here. 
and we'll try to get back to you within 24 or 48 hours. I'll see you guys. Have a nice day.